know, I went to school and before, you know, all of the molestation and the raping, it stopped when I was 13 years old. And that was because I started my period and they don't want to get me pregnant, right? So the aftermath of that, I was hearing things, which I thought I was crazy. I thought I, I was diagnosed schizophrenic. Um, and it, in reality, I wasn't talking about what was happening to me. And if I would have, they would have realized I had PTSD and I was just having flashbacks and nightmares. Um, this one, it says um, one day at a time for recovery. And I figured I put that there because I figured that if I went to go get a drink, <laughs> that I would see the one day at a time. <laughs> and this one says live the life you love because tomorrow's not promised. If I was angry, I would drink, and usually I get violent when I drink, when I'm angry. Um, and because of the abuse that was going on in my home, and it wasn't just with him and I, it was with the, the kids back and forth. My son had a domestic violence on my daughter, my daughter had domestic violence on me, my uh, boyfriend had a domestic violence, an assault charge actually on me, and me on my daughter. So it was just, it was, you know, a cycle of abuse. And so I would drink, that's how I was trying to cope with it. I would cut myself in the mental institutions. Like, I'm the reason why White Pine doesn't have erasers anymore, because I was erasing my skin. And um, so it was just, it, it was my first addiction, you know. It was It was pain I could control. No one else could do that to me.